everyone, my name is Akshay and see what I've got for you. This is an animal meat. When I blow slowly, it spins slowly. When I blow it with force, it spins faster. The animal meter is used by scientists to measure the speed of the wind. The real animal meter is with a meter, it has a meter joined to the shaft, which tells the speed from the scale 0 to 12. To make this animal meter, I used two sticks and joined them, pasted them in a plus sign. After that, I took a glass, I mean, I took four glasses and sticked each in the corners. But while you're sticking, remember to stick them in the same direction. After that, I took a toy wheel, a toy car wheel, and pasted it in the middle. And this was what I got. Okay, so sometimes we feel the wind is very calm and nice. And we feel like going with our friends or families outside in some coffee shops, playgrounds, parks, beaches, and a lot of things. But there are also types of wind with our, which are very powerful and causes serious damage. So today I'm going to talk about hurricanes. So, hurricanes are powerful swirling storms and there are two types of hurricanes. The first one comes in the Indian Ocean and Oceania which is called tropical cyclones and the other one is in Pacific Ocean which is called typhoons and also Hurricanes usually form at the Atlantic Ocean, tropical parts of the Atlantic Ocean. Hurricanes are formed when there is wind and water wave. So, because of the low pressure, the wind starts to blow in a circular motion. And because of the water vapor, a lot of clouds form. And slowly it gains speed and when it reaches 120 kilometers per hour it is called a hurricane. So let's try to make our own hurricane. So imagine this is the circular moving wind and this is the atmosphere. So we will start. That's our experiment. Now let's go see a PowerPoint presentation to understand more about hurricanes. Let's go. So guys, hurricanes are powerful swirling storms. And they are formed mostly in the tropical areas of the Atlantic Ocean over the warm water. The winds of the hurricanes are 120 kilometers per hour. They are so fast. The height, I mean the size of the hurricane is so big, it's so much that it is 10 kilometers high and 900 kilometers across. And the hurricane dies when it is away from the ocean. So it's like uh, it will be on the land, then it will get weaker and die. It will get weaker because it will not get its energy, which it gets from the water vapor. 
So, this is the eye of the hurricane. It is the center of the hurricane and it has a high temperature. The eye wall is surrounds the eye wall surrounds the eye meaning the eye is surrounded by the eye wall and the eye wall is the most dangerous part of the hurricane effects by hurricanes loss of life like hurricane sandy october 2012 killed around 286 people and Typhoon Haiyan in Philippines, it killed 5,200 people. It also damages coasts and islands. And hurricane breaks buildings, poles, and things into small pieces like houses, as you can see in the pictures, trucks, boats, and all. So now let's play a quiz. Play. Let's start. Where do hurricanes usually form? At the tropical parts of the Atlantic Ocean. What is an anemometer? The scientist, it is a scientist name. No, it is used to grind corn to flour. No. It is a robot? No, it is used to measure the speed of the wind. Yay. How big is the hurricane? Height and high and across. So 10 kilometers high and 900 kilometers across. Yeah. Hurricanes form at the Hurricanes forming at the dash are called typhoons. So where are typhoons formed? Mm, Pacific Ocean. Uh oh, yeah. Yeah! Three more questions to go. What is the maximum speed of the hurricane per hour? Hmm. Oh yeah, 120 kilometers per hour. Yes. Hmm. I don't even need the time time freeze. We have 30 seconds for each question. What are hurricanes? Powerful swirling storms. What is the eye of the hurricane? Where it looks from? Of course not. Where it destroys? No. Most outer side of it? No. That's something else. The center of it. Okay, game ended. Yay, I got all correct in a row. Let's see my streak. Yes, I got it in all correct in a row. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new and bye.